Good morning and welcome to your SMS news for April 12, 2019. I am one, year, one of your anchors, Ivan. And Peter. Um, <clears throat> joining us later in the broadcast are seventh graders Olivia Black and Barrett Black. So, congratulations to all our students out there completing the IAR testing and we all hope that you put all your effort into those tests. We hope everyone has noticed our new safe space signs outside of all doors and classrooms indicating Shepherd is a welcoming, inclusive environment for all. The softball team uh, got practices underway this week and they are looking pretty good. Coach Ball says we have some pretty talented girls that came out th for the team this year. Uh, we are getting ourselves ready for the first game on April 23rd uh, at home versus Caruso at 3.45 p.m. Uh, let's be sure to get all our supporters from Shepard out there. In the world of STEM news, NASA and 29-year-old computer scientist Katie Gooman was able to take the first image of a black hole that is close to 50 million light years away. What is a black hole and what does this all mean? I sat down with Jordan to help explain it. So I'm not a scientist, but pretty much a black hole is basically a star explodes, everything inside it condenses on itself, and basically it's something that can be the size of, I don't know, the earth or something like that, or the size of a marble, something like that, but it has the density of, it could be a million suns. So imagine if you took the sun, multiplied it by a million, and squeezed it so hard that it was the size of a marble. Now, gravity is, how big an object is, how much mass it is, um, affects how much gravity it has. So earth has orbit, and that, and that gravity is basically how much mass it has, you actually stay in that orbit. If you travel it off, if you get fast enough, you can escape that orbit. When you get far enough into space, you reach another planet's orbit. Does that make, like, if that makes sense? But the black hole has so much mass in it that its gravitational pull is so strong that once you pass a certain point, you cannot get out. Not even light can get out. So once you go in there, there's no light, there's no anything, and your body would be pulled apart from the gravity. Hello, I'm Sydney, and I'm not your anchor. Hello. Hello! Thanks, Peter, and Alon, and Jordan, for that information on the black hole. I am Olivia, and I am Barrett, and we'll be your reporters for the rest of the broadcast. Good luck to all DI students who will be headed to DeKalb for an exciting competition this weekend. The participants include Joe Begley, Andrew Kluge, Josh Verone, Jonah Hyman, Zach Stutland, Danny Branken, Mikey Avarts, Ariel Overfield, Matthew Gordon, Max Adler, Maxwell Kirchen, Zalan Geigery, Donnie Mason, Charlie Giacomo, Emily Newman, Jason Nieder, Carly Schwartz, Liam Cooper, William Love, Olivia Swerdlow, Dylan Lee, Max Hyman, Eric Munier, Paul Feinbelt, Ryan Jones, Tyson Adelman, Maggie, Maddie Kluge, Matthew Newman, Drew Spiegel, Sarah Ellis, Lindsay Apple, and Brandon Kramer. A special shout out to, goes to Maggie Kluge for submitting a design for the Illinois State Destination Imagination pin and one. The theme of her design is exploring the depths of creativity. Nice job, Maddie. Drone Racing Club is underway and there have been some exciting races so far. It is not too late to join, but it's getting there. <laughs> That's news for this week. I'm Barrett. And I'm Olivia. Thanks for watching. See you Spartans next time. Thank you for watching this SMS news. We hope you liked it. Peter, anything else to say? No. Nope. Oh, well, okay.